Hey everybody, welcome back to Guns and Gadgets, your source for Second Amendment news. Saturday morning, uh, checking my usual updates. Uh, I wanted to say thank you for everybody who tuned in last night with the live stream with myself and The Daily Shooter. Uh, for those who are new to the channel, thank you so much for your time and uh, hope you decide to stick around and get the news on the Second Amendment just as fast as it happens right here on Guns and Gadgets. Uh, with that said, some news coming out of Oklahoma. You might recall about a week and a half ago, I did a... Uh, video on their uh, constitutional carry bill, which had made it through the House by a vote of uh, 70 to 30. Uh, it was heard this week on Wednesday in the Senate at uh, the committee level, and it came out of committee Wednesday evening. Uh, so the good news is it is now eligible to go to the Senate for a full vote. Uh, it is expected to pass the Senate. The governor, while the governor has not commented specifically on the constitutional carry bill, uh, the governor has been in support of constitutional carry in the past and any bills that were based around that. So it's looking good in Oklahoma. Uh, your governor probably is going to sign it, but if I were you, if I live there, I would start making <clears throat> phone calls and uh, send him some emails. And if you live near uh, any of his office hours, stop in and see him. So to help you with that endeavor, I will have Governor Sitt's information in the uh, description of the video as well as a link to the bill, if you want it for your own reference, it's uh, HB House Bill 2597. Again, link will be in the description. Please consider subscribing to Guns and Gadgets where you're going to get the best and sometimes the worst news on the Second Amendment as fast as possible. Uh, I look forward to having you all here. Until we see each other again, this is Jared from Guns and Gadgets. Please be safe, stay vigilant, and carry your weapon. Have a great day, everybody.